Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, blur faces and license plates using Affinity Photo. Now the process is the same for both. I'm going to show you how to uh, blur faces and you, you can use the same technique to blur license plates or anything else you need to uh, blur. So, so I've downloaded this photograph from Pixabay which has a bunch of faces on. So we have some faces to use for the example. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the right here to the Layers tab. I'm going to uh, right click on this background layer and I'm going to um, go to Duplicate. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer to uh, Blur Layer. You can name it whatever you want or you don't even have to name it if you don't want to. So it's a good idea to rename layers, particularly if you have a whole bunch of them. When you just have one extra layer, um, it's an, not as critical. Uh, at any rate, uh, now make sure that you have this upper layer selected and go over here to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can see it's, it's blurred some here. There's a slider here so we can make it sharper or more blurred. You want to pick a level that looks good to you. If it's blurred all the way over here, I don't think it looks as good because it it kind of makes the face one tone and smooths it out. I like to make it to a level where it indicates it's a blurred face to some extent. So you can adjust that to what you want. Just be careful you don't get it um, so cl clear or not blurred enough so that you can recognize the face because the idea is that you won't be able to recognize the face. Uh, if if we go and sharpen this to the highest level, you can see this man's face here is a, is a little out of focus. This woman's face is very clear. So you want to look at the faces that you're interested in blurring or look at the clearest faces to make sure uh, that the effect is what you want. All right, so we'll go apply here. Now we're going to go back over here and make sure we have this upper layer or the top layer um, selected. And we're going to click this mask uh, button right here. And it's created a mask. Now, we want to mask it so that only the areas uh, that we want blur, blurred will show in the uh, as the upper layer. If we have the mask like this, we have to go around and and uh, brush out all of the area around like the face. So if we wanted this woman's face blurred, we'd have to go around this entire area, uh, which is a lot of uh, which is a lot of trouble. So what we want to do is we want to make sure this mask is selected, not like this, but we want to click on the mask itself so that only the mask is highlighted. And we want to um, go to channels and we want to go to mask alpha and right click on it and go invert. Now this changed this mask from white to black and black you, you can see through the black to the next layer. Uh, and so we're going to paint basically white on this, this mask um, to blur out the faces. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select a brush. You want to go to basic, you don't want uh, like an acrylic brush or something. Um, Affinity uh, Photo has a lot of different brushes in it and you can get different brush packs but um, those have effects on them. You, you want a very simple brush. So you go either with basic or down here there's a masking set which is similar. I'm going to just go with basic. I'm going to select this brush right here, which is a brown brush or a round brush. And um, what we're going to do is I am going to go up here to where it says hardness along the top. And we have to make sure that you have the brush tool selected. See if, if you change it, it, it shows different things up here. So the brush tool selected. We go to hardness and then we're going to um, I'm going to put it down all the way. This will give the brush a softer edge 
And uh, let me adjust the size here a little bit. All right. So now we can take this brush and brush out this woman's face. And we can brush out as much or as little as we need to or want to. So we can just do the face or we can go up to the hairline or we can actually do the entire head if we wanted to. Uh, so however much you need or want, you can do. And you can see there the face is now blurred. The nice thing about this is if we want to get this one, blur this woman's face as well, for example, uh, we can go right up to the edge of this this guy's head and uh, make sure only the woman's face is blurred and and avoid blurring the man's ear if we want to. So we can do that as well. So that's how you uh, blur faces or license plates in Affinity Photo. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.